us away. John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. <laughs> oh, damn. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say... Damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot, well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy, and wolves howling, and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you, off drinking in the fields. I mean, working, as you call it now. No, uh, he went into town a few hours ago, after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man could take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You gone psychic, Paul? Either that or... I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. 